Hello dear learners, I am Devraj Goyal from CIET NCRT New Delhi. Today we will focus on predictors of the competencies of teachers and teacher educators. It is under the course perspectives, issues and research in teacher education. Let us delineate the objectives. After going through this module, the learners will be able to identify the predictors of teaching competency, identify the predictors of teacher education competency and build the profiles of teachers and teacher educators. Dear learners, there could be numerous variables for predicting the teaching competency at B. Ed. level such as teaching aptitude, general mental ability, general language ability and social sensitivity. Similarly, there could be various variables for predicting teacher education competency such as research aptitude, educational administration and management aptitude, techno-pedagogic skills, life skills and teacher education disciplinary profile. Now, the predictors of the competencies of teachers and teacher educators. Teaching aptitude. It is defined as the potential in the areas of teaching interest, teaching skills and acquisition of knowledge, disseminating capacity and management ability and teaching behavioral patterns. Social sensitivity. It is defined as the intensity with which an individual interacts with, with social environment based on appropriate norms related to status and socialization, religious beliefs, social institutions and structures like family, class, caste, tribe, economy as well as marriage and values for example, individual, institutional, health, moral, aesthetic and professional, general mental ability. General mental ability is defined as the numerical ability, semantic ability, behavioral ability and analytical reasoning ability a person possesses as a basic asset both inborn and developed through education and experience to solve the practical problems faced in day to day life. Then general language ability, it refers to the ability to use appropriate expressions in various interactive situations in accordance with the rules of grammar. Research aptitude, it is the natural inclination of a person towards research. Particularly to this context, it is the ability to think in different ways to find solutions to educational problems. A general understanding about this concept includes a person's capacity to identify a problem and to find solutions suitable to the situation of that problem and possessing skills to explain a problem, defend logically, analytically and the ability to present the findings. Research is needed to improve upon the present situations so that a proper future context could be created. Research is a continuous process always aiming at achieving better results than the previous attempts. So, this aspect of education needs to be included in the curriculum at graduation level itself so that students are able to develop proper aptitude, attitude and interest in the problems related to their respective fields. Particular to teacher education, research must be conducted in all aspects like school situations and problems policy and administrative issues, classroom issues like management, evaluation, examination and future aspects. Proper research related to all the issues of education system will enhance the awareness of people and help in finding different innovative practices to overcome the problems. So there is a need to inculcate the research ability in students of teacher education at least from the master's level program. There is a need to expose students towards practical aspects of conducting researches using different research methods, techniques to develop proper awareness. If the natural inclination of students towards this aspect is measured from admission level itself, it could be honed 
to proper levels through practical exposure during training program, educational management aptitude. Educational management aptitude is an important aspect of any system to work efficiently and effectively. Education as a subsystem of society needs efficient and effective management practices to achieve its goals. Traditional views of management are associated with looking for a leader at the top level of hierarchy, giving commands and leading a group of persons at different levels. In educational scenario also, this holds true, with the principal taking lead in all matters related to school functioning. For the last two decades, researches in educational management area have been giving serious thought about decentralized management practice through sharing leadership. It is providing leadership training to people involved at various levels of functioning in a school. This facilitates effective functioning with decision making process being divided among a group thus avoiding burden and accountability on one person and leading to cooperative and coordinating working environments. Principal is identified as the key person at school to promote this leadership amongst various levels of the system. Globalization, information explosion, scientific inventions have brought rapid changes in the functioning of the system on employment scenario, job requirements, and changing roles of teacher in the present day multicultural classrooms. Worldwide, this concept of shared leadership is still evolving. Many barriers like bureaucracy, rigid attitude of administration at higher level, policy decisions, and resistance to change on the part of participants due to burdens involved in the process are adversely affecting the process of bringing in suitable methods of training to develop this concept in teachers. Techno-pedagogic competences. Tremendous improvements in science and technological fields have brought in ICT aspects into education field. Invention of PC, internet, and World Wide Web has brought in revolutions in knowledge, management, access, and possession areas. The field of education has been witnessing the impact of these effects through use of computers in teaching and other purposes. Integration of technology into teaching, training, and access empowerment to users at various levels in the system. Knowledge about technical subject matter, teaching principles, and technological aspects are some points related to this concept. A person's Awareness about these points and ability to find ways to tackle different issues related to ICT integration decides his or her competency in using ICT in education. With explosion of gadgets and improved access to knowledge and information, due exposure given to students, the teaching learning process is no more limited to traditional ways of giving and taking knowledge. Teacher has to be a facilitator, guide in making students find different ways to acquire knowledge on their own. Now we move on to living competences. Democratic ideas emerging after Second World War led to the development of liberal education aspects where education is provided to all irrespective of caste, creed, and gender. It is not the privilege of a few in the past. Social goals of Indian education system reflect this aspect by taking up the challenge of universalization of education as one of its goals. This has brought in diversity in many respects to classrooms that resulted in development of conflicts of many kinds. This necessitates on part of teacher and students to develop adjustment capacity to deal with the situation effectively. Now, the adjustment capacity. The complexities of present day life on human existence led to the serious thought on adjustment capacity of an individual to sustain life in the social context where there is confluence of different cultures, traditions, regions, and languages. A person has to possess adjustment mentality to lead peaceful life with prosperity.
this adjustment is with surroundings, profession, persons in contact for various reasons. Education must help a person to develop this capacity through providing experiential learning. Considering all the above mentioned situations and changes coming into the system, it is advisable to test a candidate's adjustment capacity to cope with present day complex life patterns, teacher education disciplinary profile. A person coming to the postgraduate level program in teacher education is coming with a preliminary understanding of the various issues related to the system. The level of comprehension in a person decides the inclination of the person towards the program and his her achievement levels in the program to some extent. Main components of teacher educator training programs deal with different foundational aspects like philosophy, sociology, psychology and history basing on which, basing on which education system of a particular society is decided. Not only this, with changing times, many new subjects, issues and problems arise related to social and other aspects that need to be properly represented in the curriculum to maintain quality. A primary understanding is provided in lower levels about all these aspects. By checking this level, we can test the candidate's suitability to the program. Various views expressed by teacher education curriculum framework 1996 about teacher educator suggests that teacher educator be a person with proper content and research knowledge for problem solution and disseminating the research findings through teaching and other methods. Checking for the above mentioned aspects at the entrance level itself will help in providing quality input to the program. To find out which group of above factors are effective in finding the ability of the teacher educator, relative predictivity studies will be conducted with respect to overall competency of the candidate in the training program by employing regression analysis techniques. Basing on these values, one can design proper selection procedures for the candidates. Then emerging research trends. Predictive validity studies were conducted to compare efficiency of older test form with newer test form of medical college admission test, SX 1980. Predicting academic success basing on social and personal influences to beta 2001. To predict career specialty through person matching Hartung 2005 in general education areas related to school education areas, predictive validity studies were conducted on various aspects, Harris 1974, to predict grades in student teaching by developing predictive equations, Twa 1980, using human relations incident, HRI, validity to select best applicants for pre-service teacher education, Memker 1984, to identify the characteristics of minority students who take the general knowledge test of the National Teachers Examination NTE, core battery, Richard 1990. To validate the predictiveness of different factors of different tests against student program success, Riggs 1990. To ensure the validity of NTE tests of GK and communication skills as entrance requirements of teacher education program, Williams 1990 to predict academic achievement basing on attitude, aptitude, participation and human values of student teachers, Divan 1992, improving visual and verbal literacy skills, Whitener 2002 and to decide admission into doctoral program basing on reference information provided by applicant, Young 2005. Various studies on admission area concentrated on utility of tests, variables of different admission tests for selection of proper teacher candidates, V 1963. Predictive validity of admission criteria for master's students in reading, Heritage 1977. Recruitment and retention of quality students into teacher education, Marshall 1988. A new approach to admission, proficiency based admission standards, Clark 1996, study of admission process in terms of demographics, 
and success in program born 2007. Studies conducted on teacher trainees areas were synthesis of research on teacher educator characteristics prior 1986, reasons given by students to enter teacher education programs and their selected characteristics Marso 1986, knowing expectations of students from teacher education to define teacher education Rencifer 1992, comparative study of teacher effective attributes to assess teacher quality uniformly, Marso 1995, effects of instruction on self-assessed research knowledge, ability and interest, STEMO 2006, effects of continuous engagement with research on teacher educators professional practices and students learning, Tanner 2009 to provide standards for technology use for pre-service and in-service teachers and to meet needs of teacher educators, PEC 2003, identifying professional academic identities that help persons becoming a teacher educator in new setting, Harrison 2008, to understand evolution in development of teacher educators over three periods of their professional life, Merav 2008, Teacher Effectiveness and Job Satisfaction of Teacher Educators in Haryana, CORE 2004, to develop research-based teacher education program to work with English language learners with different needs, Judith 2005, Job Satisfaction, Experience and Freezing in Teacher with Teacher Educators, Kumar 2006, Studies on Teacher Education Area were concentrating on Developing a Competency Based Teacher Education Program, Robert 1975, Flexibility of Social Context on Teachers to Aim for Solving Contextual Problems, Apple 1987, Constructivism Based Course Material Development to Develop Teachers for Tomorrow, Demon 1997, Study on Innovations, Issues and Problems in Teacher Education in Bihar, George 1999, Development and Problems of Graduate Level Teacher Training, Richaria 2002, Conformity of Teacher Education Institutions to NCT Norms, Singh 2002, Effective Strategies for Educating and Training U.S. Teachers, Allen 2003, Relationship between Cost of Education and the Institutional Effectiveness of College of Education, Malik 2005, Designing a specific master's program to develop accomplished teaching, Ahem, 2007. Verbal test of creativity thinking by Baker Mehendi. Attitude towards teaching scale by Sundaram. Personal value questionnaire by Shari and Verma. Ahluwalia teacher attitude inventory and teacher effectiveness scale by P. Kumar and Mutha. Teacher Educators Freezing Scale developed by N.P. Bhokta and Munesh Kumar, Human Value Test and Personal Information Blanks by Divan, Teacher's Attitude Inventory by S.P. Ahluwalia, Teaching Aptitude Test developed by Jay Prakash and R.P. Srivastava, Mehdi's Verbal Measure of Creative Thinking, Ravan's Standard Progressive Matrices, Group test of general mental ability by Tandon, verbal test of creative thinking by Mehdi, self concept questionnaire by Saraswat, socio economic status scale by Kulsreshta, then prediction of teaching competency. Mishra Renu, 1995, conducted her doctoral study on selection of teacher trainees through computer. She found that out of the four independent variables, language ability, teaching aptitude, general mental ability, and social sensitivity, teaching aptitude, and language ability have been found to be contributing most to the educational competency. The highest contribution is that of teaching aptitude, whereas language ability was next in contribution. Social sensitivity and general mental ability have been found to be relatively poor predictors. Prediction of 
Teacher Education Competency, Madhvi RL 2005, conducted a study on relative predictivity of some selected variables for admission into a MED program. The study has arrived at the following findings. One, research aptitude, educational management aptitude, adjustment capacity, and teacher education disciplinary profile have been found to be significant predictors of teacher education proficiency in the western region of India, wherein research aptitude, adjustment capacity, and teacher educational disciplinary profile have been found to be predicting positively, significantly, and educational management aptitude negatively. Living competencies and techno-pedagogy competencies have not been found to be significant predictors. There is a need to explore how the teacher education has failed to correlate significantly with these variables. Also, there is a need to find out how educational management aptitude has been found contributing inversely. Two, none of the six independent variables have been found to be significant predictors of teacher education proficiency in the northern, eastern, and southern regions of India. There is a need to strengthen teacher education in these areas. Three, teacher education disciplinary profile and educational management aptitude have been found to be the significant predictors of teacher education proficiency at all India level, wherein teacher education disciplinary profile has been found correlating significantly positively and educational management aptitude significantly negatively. The other four variables were found to be non-significant, namely adjustment capacity, techno-pedagogic competencies, living competencies, and research aptitude. There is a need to find out the causes of no correlation, low correlation, inverse correlation, as well as positive correlation. Four, techno-pedagogy competencies were found to be significant in most of the stepwise regression equations indicating a positive attitude of teachers towards use of technology. Efforts need to be there in educational areas to integrate this variable appropriately. Five, a continuous significant value for teacher education disciplinary profile is an encouraging situation indicating positive attitude towards obtaining teacher education. There is a need to work out strategies to enhance the beta coefficient values against teacher education disciplinary profile. Six, less number of significant combinations for living competencies and adjustment capacity are indicating towards a dire need of holistic teacher education. Seven, research aptitude, which needs to be inherent component of a teacher ed educator was found to be non-significant, except in one region, that is western region of India. This situation needs to be given serious emphasis if teacher education programs are expected to respond to problems of education. Rationale for admission into teacher education. The present century is marked by several changes in social, cultural, traditional values, and lifestyles of the people. These changes need to be represented in the educational system to accommodate people. This has definite repercussions on the teacher education programs at all levels. Democratic views of providing equal opportunities to all for education, LPG model prevailing in the changing world order, Emphasis on quality output, research on psychology of learning, importance given to the learners in teaching learning process, changing roles of teachers, interdisciplinary content, active learning approaches being given importance, emphasis on human rights, secularism in education, new emerging content areas like HIV AIDS, disaster management, human rights education, life skills and value education are some of the emerging areas that teacher education program needs to internalize at all levels of its training. Ultimately, it is the duty of teacher educators to take care of training needs of teachers so that they can work according to the changing conditions. Decentralizing management practices 
adopted in educational organizations to achieve the goals of universalization of education have also brought in changes in roles of teachers as curriculum planners, transactors of curriculum and decision makers. All the above mentioned needs have implications for pre-service training programs. To develop teachers with desired qualities, a quality teacher educator training program is also needed. In this connection, the opinion expressed by national curriculum framework on teacher education are very relevant. Various researches conducted on suitability of teacher education programs and admission procedures are pointing out to aspects like less concentration on teacher educator training, absence of a proper admission procedure and absence of proper understanding on different criteria that are important in selection of candidates to the program. Certain factors can be selected taking into consideration present needs of the program namely research aptitude, educational management aptitude, techno-pedagogic competencies, living competencies, adjustment capacity and teacher education disciplinary profile. There is a wide variation in the admission into teacher education programs in India. The persons having teacher education compatible profiles should be inducted in the teacher education programs at various levels. There should be valid admission criteria for teacher education. Thank you.